All right. So open your Bibles with me this morning. As we go back to the series, Walking in the Light. And I'm still taking my text this morning from John chapter 1, verse 1 to 5. John chapter 1, verse 1 to 5. I will be reading from ERV. In the beginning, somebody say in the beginning. Before the earth was made, the word was there. And the word was with God. And the word was God. Hallelujah. Hey! In the beginning, before the earth was made, before whatever you want to pray about, before whatever you want to desire, de um, create, push for, walk for, somebody say, the word was there. The word was with God. The word was God. It was there with God in the beginning. Everything, somebody say everything, was made through him. And nothing, nothing, nothing was made without him. Nothing was made without him. Some people take accolades. Some people take delight in saying I I, I can, I can. But somebody say nothing was made without him. In him there was life. And that life was light for the people of the world. The light shines in darkness. And the darkness has not been defeated. Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask for illumination this morning. We ask for inspiration this morning, correction, comfort. You are empowered. You are healed in the name of Jesus. We give you all the glory, Lord. In Jesus' name we've prayed. And the people of God say amen. amen. Can you say a bigger amen this morning? Amen. So I started the first um, installment by reintroducing you, for those that were here, by reintroducing you to the in the beginning God. How many of you have been excited by in the beginning God? I to go back to Jenna. I'm not going to be able to do it fantastic job of recapping but i'm just going to like breeze through it i took us back to genesis chapter 1 verse 1 and where i introduced elohim right to you and i said you know at that point god you know they took time to explain that l you know it shows the strength of god the god that can be whoever you need him to be at whatever time do you understand so if you look at it if you look at the um the punctuation, most of the time, it is in the big. So most of us think in the beginning, comma, God. No. Most of the time when you look at it, I still said most of the time when you now import it from the Bible and you copy it to Word, you know, whatever. More edit files would always, apps would always want to say the uh, punctuation is not in the right place. Do you understand? But that in the beginning, God, the God that was being talked about, there was the God that could be anything, anytime. So that's the L that you have in El Shaddai. Do you understand? So at that point, but at the same time, it's the Elohim of the fact that the same way man is referred to as Elohim, so I can't really break it down like I did two weeks ago, and other gods too, in different places in the Bible, has been referred to as Elohim, and the almighty God too is referred to as Elohim. So I was able to establish to you that God is God by himself, in himself, do you understand? The, he has his posture. He has his directives. He has his commands. He has his manifestation. And at that point, even though there was so much darkness, emptiness, and void in the world, God looked at it and said, no, darkness cannot stay. Light is my plan. So he said, let there be light. Do you understand? But it still gives us the power to choose. So I can be submitted to only my opinion 
I'm Elohim over my life. I can be submitted to other elves. Do you understand? Other men, they are Elohim in my life. I can be submitted to other gods. That means other people, other things that I have elevated above God. They become Elohim in my life. But I can be submitted to the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the God with whom there is no impossibility, the God with whom there is no shadow of turning. If it says it's showing up, it's showing up anytime, any day. It's walking behind the sin, it's walking on the sin, it's going before you, it's walking with you, it's staying behind to take care of details that you cannot think of. Somebody say, in the beginning, God. Come on, somebody say, in the beginning, God. There was vast darkness. It didn't look as if there was hope. But the Bible says that the Spirit of God was overing, right? And that the Spirit of God was overing. God said, no. Darkness cannot stay. Let there be light. Hallelujah. Somebody say, let there be light. Somebody say, let there be light. Somebody say, let there be light. And I was able to establish to you that light and darkness, they are not equal opposite to. How many of you have taken time to meditate on that? Light and darkness, they are not equal opposite. Anywhere there is darkness, bring light. Darkness has to disappear. It cannot stay. Do you understand? So in your life, if you decide to walk with Elohim, El Shaddai, Most Thai, Jehovah the Lord of us. All right, let's bring up the names now. Who is God to you? Jehovah Shama, Jehovah Nisi. Come on, Jehovah Jireh. Come on, somebody call on God this morning. Who do you need God to be to you? I need to lift your voice this morning. Who do you need? Let everybody be saying their own. Or say your own. Who do you need him to be? You understand? When it shows up, every darkness needs to give way. But let me not run ahead of myself this morning. Have you allowed him to show up? Have you decided that he is your God? And I went forth to say that to everybody, this God that can turn around, this God that was able to establish that darkness is separate from light, and light would always win over darkness, was now the one that said, let us make man in our own image. So when he created you, he deposited his nature in you. So you carry the God nature. Hallelujah. Can you remember that? You carry the God nature. So I said, yes, we have an ongoing battle. You understand? And the devil is fighting and wants darkness. What is darkness? Something that is not true. What is darkness? Anything that stands against the word of God, the truth of God, the manifestation of God. Do you understand me? Are you with me this morning? It is fighting, but let's go back to our text. It has never been able to defeat light. Some may say never. Some may say never. So that is the same way you can choose to respond to the God that is on your inside, the God nature that is on your inside. And no matter the vices, no matter the weapon, no matter what is thrown at you, you only respond to the God nature. So this morning, I came to challenge everybody by starting with embrace light. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? You see in the beginning, Lucifer, the devil, any, as in whatever name, did he choose light? Did he choose light? Did he choose God? Adam and Eve, did they choose light? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. You know, you know why we don't answer at times? Because already in your heart, you're giggy, giggy. Pastor D will now put me in that corner. After I've put all those people out, the way she will not enter me, I will now not be able, you understand? But we are to get that now. Don't you trust me? Don't you trust me? Adam and Eve, did they, whether we will point finger to the woman, oh, Benny, oh, Benny. Some people have helped me to finish. <laughs> and then this week, women now show up in another dimension. Somebody say, God bless mothers. And the sons that use them. Amen. 
Eh? And the sons that use them. Women supporting women. Let me face my message. Say, I embrace light. So, Adam and Eve, did they embrace light? Knowledge of uh, good and evil. You can eat from every tree. Just attain this Eden. Make, you know, make it fruitful. Make it whatever. But the only one that I say don't eat, the devil showed up again and presented what was not the truth. And it was taken by both Adam and Eve as the truth, even though it was a lie. And we are where we are today. Amen. But John chapter 1 verse 1 now says, In the beginning, as all these things were happening, before all these things are happening, from generation to generation, Noah chose God. The others did not choose God. David chose God. As much as he fell, he kept on rising. He kept on choosing God. Do you understand? Well, see, Israelites, as much as God went out of his way, did they always choose light? Did they always choose God? Okay, if any time I say light... You know, you can interchange it with God's perspective on things, God's position on things, the truth of God, and God himself. Do you understand? So did they choose God? But God now went out of his way to send his only son to come and make if I beyond restitution for our sins. So in as much as things didn't seem to work at one point, God knew his plan. God has said, let there be light. And God had established that light can never be de defeated by darkness. It is only if you choose for darkness to envelop you, then you will stay in darkness. Hallelujah. So verse 5 says, hallelujah, in him there was life. And the life was the light for the people of the world. That's some place for somebody to rejoice this morning. I think you can do better than that. Because we always take for granted the gift of salvation. So no matter what you are dealing with, you are winning. Hallelujah. The light for the people of the world. And that's why Pasheko established this morning. Phone, planes, anything created is Logos. It's the word of God. It comes by the inspiration of the Almighty. It can be perverted by the world. It can be turned around by the world, but everything consists and originates from God. Amen? Amen. Do you understand? And that when God breathed it to be, it was light. It would always remain light. If we continue to acknowledge God as our source, it will continue to be light. So Jesus Christ came that you might be able to embrace light. And when you embrace the finished works, Hallelujah. Then the good nature can become manifest in you. Did you come to church this morning? Now, when you have observed and lived in darkness long enough, you can get to a point where it's no longer about choosing darkness, but you normalize darkness as acceptable. The way to go. So we define marriage by what the world define it as. You understand? You see that submission matter. That submission matter is not for temperaments like mine. Which temperament? That the devil designed or that God designed? Some may say amen. I can forgive everybody. But you see that woman? That woman. Do you understand? And you can rationalize and explain. I know it's hurtful. I know it's painful. You see, at times when I tell church people to calm down and they are upset with one another, I don't know. I, I'm speechless. Because I'm like, if me, I now decide to vex and call. <laughs> I don't know if you understand. Let me take for instance. Um, Rhoda did something to me last week. Now, you know this is just instance. Something really bad. Maybe I'm trying to talk to her and say, shut up. Everybody is shocked. But let's just say, let me say something like that. You know, shut up. And I'm just like, okay. I don't think she talks to me like, but you no, know, Pastor D, I said somebody needs to give it to you. Somebody, and she not even only do it in my office. So there are like 50 people watching. People say, ah, Ella, Jesus, she gave. In fact, I could see some people laughing somewhere. She gave it to Pastor D. Then me, I walk on graciously. 
Do you understand? Eh? Then, angel, let's say two days later. Somebody say two days later. Is Rhoda that is even shouting, no? She's shouting, she's not carrying herself well. And the angels just say, please keep quiet, Joe. Rhoda will not tear shit. You understand? I will not be trying to beg Rhoda that, Rhoda, calm down. I know she's younger than you. I know that uh, even if you were shouting, she's not Rhoda. Pastor D, I will not agree. Pastor D, I will not agree. That's what we do a lot of times. But you see, this to me is even better. A lot of, as God is looking at you from heaven, he say, eh, me, I can forgive you. I can carry you. I can bless you in spite of, in spite of. And this thing that you have magnified that this other person has done, when it is even an opportunity, do you understand? Joseph said to his brothers, you meant it for evil, but my God meant it for good. That they might be saving of many lives. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So he could have chosen to look at it in a different way or walk in the light of God. But he chose forgiveness. He chose light. And at the end of the day, he was able to bring salvation not only to himself, not only to his brothers, not only to his brother's family, but the whole of Israel. And the stand that Joseph took today, you and I are still enjoying it. Because he stood in line with the will of God. Tell your neighbor for me this morning, embrace light. Some of us actually think that we are walking in light, but we are not. We have normalized darkness. We have normalized untruth. We have normalized lie. We have normalized the options of the devil. Do you understand me? The way of light does not have to be popular. Do you understand me? Does not have to um, be raining. Does not have to be in vogue. But are you ever in doubt about where God stands? No. Even if you are in doubt now, can you always find out? Can you always find out? How do we find out? Somebody say fellowship. Somebody say, yeah? How do we find out? The word. How do we find out? Do you understand? That's why a man said, Pastor, there's one lady in church. The way I'm feeling towards her, married man, do you know? I believe she's the one I should have married. So I want to divorce my wife and marry her. Pastor said, but the Bible says, no, Pastor, put what the Bible says aside. What do you say? Ah. Man <laughs> said, I don't have an opinion apart from the word of God, though. Ah, so this is something else. He wants to come and hear. He said, no, 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 no. No, word of God aside. Word of God aside. I like the fact that that guy said it. Black and white. Word of God aside. A lot of us every moment, every day in different ways are saying, word of God. Word of God. Word of God. Tell your neighbor for me, embrace light. Tell your neighbor for me, embrace light. I declare over everybody under the sound of my voice in every area of your life, in every decision that you make, in everything that you do, you embrace light in the name of Jesus. John chapter 1 verse 14, message translation says the word came flesh. Somebody say the word. Somebody say the word. Became flesh and blood and moved into the neighborhood. Hallelujah. We saw the glory with our own eyes eyes the one of the kind glory like father like son how many of you can remember in the beginning god hallelujah so god decided for god to come down and be in the dimension of man that you can see god in yourself do you understand so by the time jesus christ came he came as the prototype. And I remember Pashegun, you know, telling me that if you say Jesus Christ is the prototype and you say everybody is one of a kind and Jesus is one of a kind and you are one of a kind, how can he be a prototype? He came that you might be. He came that you may came. Permit my English this morning. He came that you may came. So immediately Jesus came. You have already came. You are not just trying to achieve. I know you want to be a millionaire. I know you want to be a fantastic father. 
I know you want to be the best employer of labor around. I know you want to travel the world. But Jesus Christ came. He, is already, he was already in our neighborhood. He showed one kind of a glory. He showed God's nature so much. And guess what he said? He now made a deposit and said, Greater works will you do in my name. That means he came as the prototype. But he came to establish the foundation. So that the least... What we saw Jesus Christ do is the least any of us can dare and do. So if your life is not a reflection of that, it's because of your choice. Like father, like son. Generous inside out. True from start to finish. What is light? God's truth. What is light? God's perspective. What is light? God is light. From the first moment Jesus came, was born in the manger, to the last time, moment, where he said, it is finished. From start to finish. It was true. And he came that we might be the same thing. So because if I go back to my text, it says that life was the light for the people of the world. So left to the devil, everybody will continually be in darkness. But as Jesus Christ came, once you embrace Jesus, embrace the choice of God, the world has no choice but to align with you showing forth the nature of of God. I'm not saying it's going to be easy on your flesh. Do you understand me? I'm not saying it's going to be a piece of cake. Do you understand? Because your flesh will struggle. We are in this world, but we are not of this world. Do you understand? But I need you to make up your mind. I'm disciplined. I'm consecrated. I'm sold out to God. I embrace light. In the house of God, in my relationships, in my family, in my office, in my neighborhood, I embrace light. Because Jesus Christ came to make you one of a kind. I've said it again and again, but allow me to establish it this morning. You see the dimension of God that you reflect. Nobody can reflect it like you do. That's why the devil fights to turn you. I can try from today to tomorrow. I would only be a cheap copy of your kind. But you see how God planned it. You shine, I shine, we shine together, and we show God off. So imagine Jesus, one of a kind, right? You, one of a kind, right? And then like they say, like Father, like putting your name. So like Father... Like Derele, like Esther, like Bimbo, like Joseph. Do you understand? So we are seeing reflection of God everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. The generosity of God flowing. The truth of God flowing. The light of God flowing. Please, where can there be darkness? No, where can there be darkness? Do you understand? Do you understand? Hallelujah. And then a lot of times, the, the areas that we have fought battles is even the areas we can shine the most. Because by the time you win, you now again become the prototype, the first one that has gone. You can now pull others along to win with you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ came that you may have life and have it in abundance. John chapter 10 verse 10, TPT says, a thief has only one thing in mind. And that is what it envelopes in darkness. To steal, to slaughter, to destroy. But I have come to give you everything in abundance. As you embrace light, as you choose to push to become the one of a kind that I have made you, I give you everything in abundance. More than you expect. More than you fight for. More than you push for. Life in its fullness until you overflow. 
So please, let's stop normalizing the way of the world, the options of the world, the things that are convenient for us to live by. Because at the end of the day, everything is wrapped up so that you can stay in darkness. Let me strike that. Everything is wrapped up. You know when the devil is buttering you up so that you can be finally devo- um, um, sorry, destroyed. You know, what? you know when you want to say something and something is crossing your mind? So what crossed my mind was there are people that seem married today, but they're already divorced. Sure you know. In fact, the way one person put it, a pastor put it, that can you decide to carry a coffin? Let me give this illustration. Carry a coffin. You, you are saying you are planned wedding. They now, as you are walking, they now put coffin in front. Let me put the ladies on the spot. You are now walking down. It's coffin you want to go and marry. Uh, dead body inside coffin you want to go and marry. Can you do that? If you do that, will they say you are normal? No, it's too glaring, right? So why do we marry unbelievers? Amen. 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 What shall it profit a man? He gains the old world, loses his soul. You see somebody, he's tall, dark, and so. He has money. He prays once in a while. It's okay. He's a kind guy. It's is he born again? Does he have a functional relationship with God? You see all those answers you are giving, Pastor, in your heart of heart. There's light, oh. But would you allow your mind to embrace, do you understand, that light and walk in that reality? Do you understand? So the whole world can be applauding you, but the devil has buttered you up well and put you in the corner he wants to put you. And the thing about the devil, he has password for everybody. What he will use to catch me is different from what he will use to catch you. What he will, do you understand? But he's working oh, very well. That is why he says you have life in abundance. I, I have come to realize that it is only in God that I see people have life and have it in abundance and there is no comma anywhere. Check out any unbeliever. You can begin to mark different ways of success. I am not saying that we do not have tribulations as Christians. I am not saying that we do not face challenging situations. But the thing is, the way God walks us through the valley of the shadow of death, we come out of it without scars. We come out of those things better. But a lot of times, even when believers don't, it's because we don't embrace light. But when we embrace light, we don't look like what we have been through. That was why the Hebrew boy said, our God is able to save us. I don't know how many people under the sound of my voice know that their God is able to save them anytime. Know that the word of God is true anytime. Know that God's perspective thumbs every perspective every time. And he said, even if he does not save us, we are ready to die. Ah, but how many of you have experienced the fourth man in the fire? Hey, where everywhere is hot, is burning. You are shedding those tears. Your heart is so pained and broken. But you can feel the presence of God. You can see the manifestation of God. You can hear his whispers. And he keeps saying, come, I'm with you. I will teach you. I will help you. I will guide you. I work everything out for, my, for your good. Why do we want to leave all that and choose differently? Hallelujah. Life in fullness till is overflowing. So I came to remind you again. As you embrace life, the one of a kind that Jesus has called you to be, it shows up. In the banking industry, you shine differently. In your family, you shine differently. Hallelujah. Well, what are the other industries? What is the other ministry? What are the other dimensions? People have not won in certain areas before because you are supposed to be the first person that would win that way. Do you understand me? Did you come to church this morning? Tell your neighbor for me this morning, embrace light. Tell somebody else for me this morning, embrace light. So you're going to do your push-ups. You are going to obey. Do you understand? 
cry all the tears and then clean it up and say, this is what the word of God says. I don't feel it. I don't want it. Because there are times you don't want it. But he settled. I only go by the word of God. Because Jesus Christ came that I can be different. And he didn't say it would always be palatable. He didn't say it would always be sweet. But he said, if you choose life, if you choose a life, that life becomes the light of men. So Jesus Christ does not only light up the path of other people. Like I said the first week, I'm saying it again. You begin to light up the path of others. Did you come this morning? Hallelujah. So Matthew chapter 5, verse 13 to 16. I bring it again this morning. Message translation. Let me tell you why you are here. Hallelujah. Let me tell you what. Can we say that together? Let me tell you what. Am I the one saying it? Logos. The word of God. Let me tell you what. You are here to be salt seasoning that brings out God's flavor of, the, of this earth. If you lose your saltiness, how will people taste godliness? Ah, some people can never taste godliness through me. But some people have not tasted godliness because you have not embraced light. You've lost your usefulness and we end up in the garbage. I know you have big bank balance right now. Dollars, pounds. Do you understand? I know that at the end of your name, no, I don't know those, M-A-R-C, M, all those things, all those things they put behind people's name, right? Help me. Eh? Right? I know you have real estate in different parts of the world right now. But let's go back. I'm not the one that said it all. Eh? Verse 13b says, you have lost your usefulness and we end up in the garbage. Because you know where you are not embracing light. You know how you are walking by half-truth. And half-truth is what? Half-light is what? Half-truth is what? Whatever the Holy Spirit says to you, whether you refuse to say it out or not. 14 says, here is another way to put it. You are here to be light. Come on, somebody praise God this morning. <laughs> Bringing out the God colors in the world. God needs you. God is not a secret to be kept. But if you don't embrace light, if you don't choose his way, if you don't reflect his way, he's a secret. It can't be seen. The colors cannot shine. It's not a secret. We are going public with this. As public as a city on a hill. Can you tell your neighbor for me this? I'm walking in the light. I'm walking in the light. I'm showing for God's light. Come on, say it with me this morning. I'm showing for God's life. In my relationships, in my marriage, in, on my job, with my decisions, in my nation, in the name of Jesus, concerning my children, I'm showing forth light. So we're going as public as the city on the hill. And then Jesus Christ now said in the voice of God, if I make you light bearers, you don't think I'm going to hide you under a bucket, do you? I'm putting you on a light stand. If you embrace my truth, if you embrace my way, no matter how hard it is on your flesh, no matter how much people think you are stupid, no matter how much people don't understand, I make you a light bearer. I make you a trailblazer. And I set you up for the world to see you shine. Hallelujah. Now that I've put you there on a ill top, now that I've made you one of a kind, on a light stand, shine. Keep open house. Be generous with your lives. Be opening up to others. You will prompt people to open up with God. 
this generous father in heaven. So if you will not walk in the light for yourself, you will walk in the light because that is the only way you will remain relevant. The Bible says, I've been young, now I'm old. I have never, somebody say never, never. seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed beg for bread. The Bible says the path of the just as a shining light that shines brighter and brighter towards the perfect day. The secret to remaining relevant, the secret to ensure that you're taking care of, you are not only taking care of, your generations yet unborn are taking care of, is that you embrace light. You embrace the one of the kind that Jesus Christ has made you. You walk in the light and you shine the light on the path of others to walk. And the generosity of God shows through us through you. The life of God shows through you. The same way Jesus was one of a kind in that neighborhood. That is how you are one of a kind too. We're ready to embrace light. Hallelujah. Let's rise up on our feet this morning. Put in your name now. I. Ah, no, 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 no. This somebody's name has to sound loudest because we mean it. Hallelujah. Are you ready? One, two, go. I are really okay. Know why I'm here. I live conscious and worthy of God's call upon my life. I am salt in all that I do. I bring out the God's flavor of this earth. When people encounter me, they experience godliness at a greater dimension. My thoughts, expressions, and actions reflect God in a mind-blowing way. I am not carnal. I do not live a self-gratifying life. I am a custodian of God's grace. I facilitate miracles daily in my family, my place of work, my nation, and other nations where I do business and I have relationships. I am light. I bring out the God's colors in this world. Darkness is not permitted to thrive around me. I say no to loss, no to poverty, no to sickness, no to anarchy and confusion, no to mediocrity. I say yes to healing and restoration, yes to divine transformations, yes to abundance, yes to God's will established all around me in the name of Jesus. And as I decree this, so shall it be in the name of Jesus. I'm a channel of God's blessings opened up world because of me people enjoy the generosity of Abba I arise I shine my light has come the glory of the Lord has turned upon me nations walk by my light kings by the radiance of my dawning hallelujah come and give God praise give God praise